Welcome to Everyday Recoding. Today we are learn how to apply cell text alignment, row height, column width in Excel sheet. But if you are new to this video, please watch my previous video first. Previous video link is available every page of my blog. You can watch it in two different languages, either in English or in Hindi. Also, you can download the source code from given link. Okay, first of all, I will show how to apply text alignment, row height and column width using Microsoft Excel application. After that, I will show same thing using epplus.net application. Let's go to the Excel application. In this Excel sheet, we need some sample text. Here I am already typing some sample text. Copy the sample text, go to the Excel window and paste the sample text. In this Excel window, we need to apply the column auto field. Double click on this column. There is the column is auto feed by the content of Excel cell. Now we can apply the text alignment within a specific cell. Here we can see this six option under the home menu. This six option is available for applying the text alignment within a cell. Now I am increase the height of row. Okay. So by default, Excel sheet support horizontally left and vertically button alignment. Here you can see this. Every cell are apply same text alignment. Now I am applying the horizontal center and vertical center. This option is applicable for horizontal center and this option is applicable for vertical center. Okay. Now I am applying horizontal left and vertical top. The so horizontal left is already applied, vertical top. This option is applicable for vertical top. Now I am applying the horizontal right and vertical button. The already vertical button is already applied. Now I am applying the horizontal right. This option is applicable for horizontal right. Okay, this is the way we are applying auto fit column within a specific Excel column and increase the height of any specific row and applying the text alignment within a specific Excel cell. Now I am showing exact same things using epplus.net library application. Go to my blog. In this blog, how to apply text alignment using epplus application. Actually, epplus support two category of text alignment. As you can see in Excel sheet, first is vertical, second is horizontal. These two alignments are the object of Excel horizontal alignment. That means Excel horizontal alignment is the class as well as Excel vertical alignment object we are used in our application. Both alignments are the property of Excel style class. Okay. And both alignment object, Excel horizontal alignment and Excel vertical alignment are assigned by two enum. The Excel horizontal alignment are assigned by Excel horizontal alignment enum and Excel vertical alignment is assigned by Excel vertical enum. Go to the Visual Studio, select the specific region of Excel sheet so just copy this line okay in excel sheet this is a specific cell this set on row number four and second column now i am applying the row number four okay and this is not a mars cell that's why i'm applying four and four two times and after that, this is already in second column. So that's why I am typing 2 and 2. Now we are select the specific region. Here I am typing the sample text. Copy this line. Okay. Now I go to my Excel window. Copy this line. Go to the Visual Studio. Remove the previous text. And paste this line. Okay. Now I am go to my blog. Here the two line of code. Copy this line of code and paste it in here. Here we can see the two line of code showing error. That means some assembly is missing within this code. So pressing control dot through my keyboard. As you can see using office open XML dot style assembly is missing. Now click on this assembly. Now you can see this assembly is already attached within this our application. Now this two line of code is execute properly. First of all, build this application. Okay, build success. 
Now I'm execute this line of code. As you can see, the file is stored on the D drive. Go to the D drive. Open my Excel sheet. Now the text align is already applied, but we are not applying column auto fit. That means column width and row height right now. So go to the Visual Studio. Here I am specify the column width and row height within a specific line of code. So go to my block. There is a single line of code. Copy this line of code and paste it right here. Okay, there is a single line of code, we are applying the row height, which row I am applying? We are applying row number 4, okay. The Excel row class have a height property. Now select the height property, go to the definition, as you can see, the height property is the property of Excel row class and the type of height property is double. So 30 is the double value, okay, now I am build my application is built successful. After that I am execute this line of code. Okay, execute successfully. Now go to my D drive. Now open the Excel sheet. As you can see the row height is already applied within the Excel sheet. Now we can apply auto fit column of Excel sheet. Go to my block. Here is a line of code. Copy this line of code. Go to my Visual Studio and I'll paste this line of code. Here you can see the single line of code. There is an auto fit column method is applicable for Excel worksheet object and its cells. Okay, the Excel worksheet dot dimension dot address. What is the dimension? Go to my blog. In this example, the dimension property is the address of worksheet from top left to bottom right. That means the dimension property can capture the Excel sheet cells and if the Excel sheet has no cell, it return null. And the auto fit column is responsible for set the column width from the content of range. Cell containing formulas are ignored since EP plus doesn't have calculation engine wrapped and March cells is also ignored. So go to the Visual Studio. Here is the two line of code is responsible for row height and column width and there is a specific reason to apply the text alignment within the Excel sheet. Now I am build this application. After build, close the previous Excel window. Okay. Now I execute this line of code. Go to my D block. In Excel sheet, we can apply the row height, column width and text alignment within a specific Excel cell. Okay, now we can apply the text alignment in the another cell is row number 5. Now go to the Visual Studio, here I am copy the line of code, paste it on there, here I am apply the text alignment within a row number 5. Okay, so now I am go to my blog, double click on this image. I need to apply horizontally left and vertical top on row number 5. Okay, go to the Visual Studio. Here I am right horizontal left and vertical top. So first we need to change the enum value. I change the center to left. Okay, and I'm change the center to top. So as you can see, now I am change the horizontal alignment to left and vertical alignment to top. Now execute this line of code. Build this application first. Before I build this application, we need to close the previous window. Now I'm close the previous Excel window. Start executing and execute success. Go to the D drive. Open my Excel sheet. As you can see, the horizontal left and vertical top is already applied within the Excel sheet. Go to the Visual Studio and single line of code. Copy this line of code. Paste this here. Here I am change the row number 5. Close the previous window. 
execute this line and open the D drive. Now you can see the 30 height is applied on this Excel row and you can see the horizontal left and vertical top text aligned is already applied in the Excel sheet. Okay, in this similar way we can apply the text alignment on another cell. Okay, copy this line of code. Right now I am applying the text alignment within a row number 6. Okay, now change the row number 6 and same column is applicable for and right now I am applying the horizontal right and vertical bottom. Okay, now simply replace the enum value right at the replace of left and bottom at the replace of top. Okay, now I am execute this line of code. To close the previous Excel window, now execute this line of code, go to the D drive, now open the Excel sheet, here you can see the text alignment is already applied on the row number 6 and horizontal right and vertical bottom is already applied. So in this tutorial, we have learned how to apply Excel text alignment, row height and column width in Excel sheet, we can apply in Excel window and we are showing same things using epplus.net application. At the end of this video, I have to say one thing. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.